Welcome to Hacking with Python 6, Nmap Port Scanner. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. If you're watching this without a basic understanding of Python, you'll struggle to follow along. You can watch my Python beginner series to get you up to speed. In this video, we'll be covering how to integrate Nmap into our Python program to use a more advanced method of scanning, to be specific, the acknowledgement scan. Nmap works just like our basic scanner. However, it works on a lower level, closer to the hardware. First, a request is made to the host and a port, then it waits for an acknowledgement. If one is received, the connection is aborted because the port must be open for an acknowledgement to be sent back. The Python Nmap module makes it super easy to interact with the Nmap program, allowing us to run a scan, giving us the output back nicely in dictionaries. If you're interested and confident with reading C++ and understand how our network protocols work, I highly recommend downloading the Nmap source code and reading how it works. It's great. The link will be in the description. Now, because we are integrating with Nmap, we need to make sure we have it installed before we try to use it. If you're running Backtrack or Kali Linux, then you'll already have Nmap installed. If you're still new to, new to Linux and using Ubuntu, that's fine. I, we can install it with one command. So. The command we're going to be using is sudo apt-get install nmap. So what this does is it uses a super user to get a package and install it in, onto our system. And then the last name is nmap, which is the package we want to get. Okay, so let's jump across to my Ubuntu here. And we're going to do sudo apt-get install and then nmap. And when we execute this, it'll go off and it'll try and find Nmap, and it will install it for us. Now, I'm already up to date, so it's just checked whether that I had the latest version, and I did, so it didn't have to install it. Okay, and now, because we're going to be using the Python Nmap module, it can be quite hard to get your hands on, or harder to install for um, new users to Linux. So what we're going to do is we're going to install the Python setup tools, which makes it super easy to install modules. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the Python setup tools uh, package. So we're going to use sudo apt get again, and we're going to install python-setup-tools. And this will go off and fetch setup tools and install it for us. And I'm already up to the latest version, so it said it's the newest version, doesn't need to be installed. Okay, now we're going to use the sudo easy underscore install command, which is from the uh, setup tools package, which allows us to go off and find Python modules super easy. So we're going to easy install python dash nmap. And that's going to go off and get the Python Nmap module. And I'm already at the latest version, so it hasn't needed to download it or, and install it. <coughs> okay. So once that's all downloaded and installed, we're ready to start coding. So we're going to have two main functions, and that is the op, uh, the main function and the Nmap scan function. Our main will have all our op passing and will run our Nmap scan. Okay, so we're going to create a Python uh, Python file called Nmap Scanner, and uh, I've already got one created, so uh, we'll just go from there. But you can use the code from our basic port scanner and just copy and edit it if you wish, or you can alternatively get the code that's in the description. Okay, so I'm going to open up my file, so. Uh, it's going to be nmap scanner.py and as you can see I've got a lot of the code from the basic port scanner I've just removed the two functions at the top the port scan function and the con scan function and I've also removed the socket and the threading and our two imports are going to be optpass and we're also going to import our nmap now, so import nmap. Okay, so in our, for our conscan function, what we're going to do is we're going to change this, we're going to make it our nmap 
scan function. Okay, so in our nmap scan function, this is where we're going to handle uh, nmap and handle our scan. So let's create an object called nscan, and that's going to be equal to nmap dot port scanner. Okay, now our what we're going to do is we're going to scan. So we do our nscan dot scan. And we're going to scan the target host, which is what we pass in from our uh, function. So target host and the target port. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to get the information back from the scan. So we're going to put the information into a variable called state. And state is going to be equal to n scan uh, square brackets n square n scan square brackets target host close the square brackets open square brackets and the protocol is TCP Let's close square brackets and open some more square brackets and the port in target port and our last square brackets are going to have state because we want to fetch the state okay now what we can do is we can print out the results. So print, I'll make our output look nice. Put a star, and we'll add the target host. And it was a TCP scan on the target port, and we want to attach space in the port and then the state okay so now all we have to do is edit our main so if you've copied all the parser information that should all be the same we just have to change our port scan call so rather than calling port scan we're going to be calling nmap scan for each of the ports so let's do uh, for um, for target uh, for target port in target ports and then we're going to call our n map scan and we're going to pass in the target host and the target port let me close that off okay and that's our program done so we've written our mmap uh, scan function and then we pass in all of our targets. Okay, so let's save this and let's try running it. So python nmap scanner dot pi and then our host address. I'll pass in my server, so 192.168.10.72 and then the port is six four seven three eight and we can scan that and it should come back with uh, whether the port is open or closed should be in the keyword hmm why does it seem to hang Ugh. my control z that try running it again is it not working there we go okay so we got that the TCP port 64738 is open on the .72 server what we can also do is we can try scanning our router so our router is usually the first address in your address space so for me it's 10.1 and we can try scanning the port 80 so that's the web uh, port so if your uh, router has a web interface that will be on port 80 so if we scan port 80 hopefully that should work it may be chugging a bit because I'm on a VM there we go 
So it's come back and it said, okay, there's there's a port open on port 80. So I, my my router does have a web interface. And we can also try port 21, which is a telnet uh, port. And that's also open. Okay, so that's our Nmap port scanner. So, uh, yeah, this this concludes our Nmap port scanner. Uh, you can modify this code to scan for as many ports as you like. Uh, if you don't figure, if you don't remember all of this, you can easily come back and rewatch the video to consolidate all the information. Uh, if you have any questions and you can't find the answer after a quick Google search, feel free to leave it in the comments. Uh, next, we'll be looking at building an SSH botnet. Thanks for watching.